I don't really know if fan voting is the way to go, or at least something needs to be changed about it, because I think some guys got screwed over this year when it comes to all-star voting. I'm not a fan of the fan voting. Basically in any sport, you know, NFL Pro Bowls gets a little whack. I don't know if the NBA does it, but the MLB as well. I wouldn't say it's a joke. I just think it could be fixed in a way where say you have three final guys for each position. That way, if we have more guys in the final pool that we can select from and vote for, the results will probably be a little more accurate and the guys that should be making it will make it. That's just me. I just talk baseball on YouTube and I do so for a reason, but the all-star ballot finalists are now out. So let's take a look at them. There's definitely some positions where there's one guy that is head and shoulders above everyone else when it comes to their stats and they deserve to be the all-star game starter at their respective position. AL catcher Alejandro Kirk, Jose Trevino. I think Alejandro Kirk deserves it. First base, Vlad Guerrero Jr. and Ty France. I would have loved to see Luis Arise on this list as well. I know he's not the typical hitter nowadays, but if you had one more option, I think Luis Arise can compete to be the starting first baseman for the AL team in the all-star game. He definitely should be in that mix. Vlad Jr. is finally starting to pick it up. France is a little hurt now, but he's had such a tremendous first half before getting injured. It just sucks because Vlad Jr. with the Blue Jays, their fans really go at it, the all-star voting, and you'll see a lot of Blue Jays on this list that are maybe questionable to be on there. Second base might be the biggest robbery, and that is Jose Altuve and Santiago Espinal on the Blue Jays. Andres Jimenez has to be on this list. I mean, I think it was a two-man race between Jimenez and Altuve for the starting spot. Espinal's right at league average or a below league average hitter with a good defense and Altuve is crazy good at the plate the first half and Jimenez has been the best of both worlds some good offense and good defense as well I think it was a very very close race when it comes to Jimenez and Altuve and I think at Altuve just a slightly above him but Espinal should not be in the conversation to even start or be an all-star for the AL second base position. Third base, Jose Ramirez, Rafael Devers, pretty spot on. I like Jose Ramirez uh, just a tad bit more than Rafael Devers. We got another one right here, shortstop, Bo Bichette and Tim Anderson. I thought it was a race between Tim Anderson and Xander Bogarts, and I even thought Xander Bogarts could be the starting shortstop in the all-star game this year. But I just want to talk about the fan voting system and some of the spots where I disagree with all the fans and them voting for their guy. At the end of the day, can't do much about that. There's showing love for their team and that is awesome i love that some teams have some fans that are diehards that is great for the game however when it comes to fan voting for all stars it gets a little skewed is Oh, okay. Judge and Acuna get automatic all-star starter bids. I was looking at this list on MLB.com and, uh, and I was like thinking to myself, where is Aaron Judge on this list? In the outfield for the AL, I think it's Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, and then you can throw in another guy in there. I think some guys that deserve some respect would be Taylor Ward had an incredible start to the season. One of the hottest starts in baseball this year. And then Byron Buxton and Kyle Tucker, I think are in the mix. I know Stanton hits a lot of home runs. Springer's been doing really good. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't looked at Lourdes Gurriel's stats, but I don't think he is in the conversation. You can prove me wrong down in the comments and I'll take a look after the video. That's just tough. So many Blue Jays on this list. I'm glad that the Blue Jays fans are diehards and they're really rooting for their team. DH, it's got to be Jordan all the way. Shohei's on there as well, but Jordan's season has just been insane. Now we'll look at the NL side of things. At catcher, I think it's Wilson Contreras. Travis Darno is on there as well, but I think Wilson Contreras wins that. Okay, this one has to be the easiest one out of all of these. Paul Goldschmidt, without a doubt, I think he has a shot at winning NL MVP right now. When Paul Goldschmidt's career is over, I think he'll have the better Hall of Fame resume than Joey Votto. I don't know if that's a hot take, but I'm just going to put that out there. Ozzy Albies and Jazz Chisholm for second base in the NL. This is so goofy because right now both of them are hurt. So what happens if both of the guys are hurt? Like, do they... Who did... How does it get decided who is going to be the starter if they're both hurt? In my head, I had like Jeff McNeil, Jazz Chisholm, and Tommy Edmond for that all-star spot. Jazz Chisholm is just an electric player. I think it's great for him if he was at the all-star game. I don't know about a starting position just yet. I don't think Jeff McNeil's on this list at all, and I think could be deserving of being an all-star. I think at third base, it's Manny Machado. Manny's on my fantasy team, and he says it's day-to-day, -day, and I don't think he's played in a little bit. So hopefully he can play in the all-star game, but his season has been phenomenal as well. Short 
first stop. Here we go. 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 This is a, this is a great one right here between Trey Turner and Dansby Swanson. Personally, I, I'll give Dansby the nod. I think he should be the NL shortstop starter. He's he's done it with the bat. I believe his stolen bases. He's he's had a few stolen bases in there, keeping up with Trey Turner a little bit. And the glove on defense has been very good as well as always. And the bat finals come along. I'm giving the nod to Dansby Swanson. Ooh, I don't know about this one. This this is where it gets a little weird. In the outfield for the NL, we got Mookie Betts, Jock Peterson, Starling Marte, and Adam Duvall. Oh my goodness. He is... Oh my goodness. Oh, that is an atrocity. Why is he on here? Oh, I had to sneeze because my body just can't handle this news of Adam Duvall making the final ballot. 73 WRC plus 0.3 war. You know, I'm not going to determine war as the end all be all when it comes to all star voting. Like a guy may have a 0.2 higher war, but that doesn't show the whole picture. But when you're probably a few war behind the other guys on the ballot, that just doesn't make much sense. And you're hitting 200 way below league average hitter. I don't think the defense has been anything insane either. So definitely a head scratcher right there. I don't know about Starling Marte either, but definitely Adam Duvall should not be on there. Some guys I think in the NL from the outfield you could take a look at that I have marked down are Ian Happ and Jeff McNeil besides Mookie Betts and Jock Peterson. I think those two guys have it locked up for sure. Ronald Acuna, man, I just don't get it. Like he's just the biggest name in baseball in the outfield. He's going to get the votes whether he plays a single game or not. Those are good numbers. Definitely the pop popularity put him over the edge and get an automatic all-star starter bit especially at that dh i think it's got to be bryce harper i think torn ucl that's pretty crazy they still dh and then hitting really good that's just my thoughts about the fan voting honestly when it comes to all-star games i don't really like it when the fans get involved uh with voting on all-star games pro bowls NBA all-stars whatever the sport may be leave it to the guys that are a little more objective uh, than subjective with the fans that's just a mess that some guys aren't included onto this list let me know down in the comments what you think about fan voting who should be an all-star that isn't going to be an all-star or who shouldn't be an all-star <laughs> that's on this final ballot let me know down in the comments make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome baseball content make sure to check out this video right here it's about a sweet glove collection if you love baseball and love baseball gloves there's some sick ones in this collection that my buddy has and we're also doing a, a giveaway for a free custom 44 glove so you're not gonna want to miss out on that if you're watching this before july 4th you'll be able to enter the giveaway with that being said thank you guys for watching the video i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video